We're out here at uh, the side of the new North End Zone Complex. Uh, as you can see behind me, a lot of things are going on with it to get the foundation ready to go. Uh, we're having our official groundbreaking uh, for our donors who uh, have supported the project uh, this, this Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Uh, it should be a great event and a chance to recognize the folks who are making this a reality for us. Uh, it's going to be about an 18-month build for the project. Uh, we actually, yesterday afternoon, a few of us uh, from our department got to go over to uh, AZ3D here on campus and we got to see a three-dimensional tour of what the uh, North End Zone is going to look like when it's done. And uh, that was really interesting to see, first time I've ever seen anything like that. Uh, but it gave you a kind of a bird's eye view of if you're up in the club area or you're in the coaches offices or the weight room, what the whole area will look like. So that, uh, that's something we hope we can show more of as time goes on to our fan base. On top of that, uh, Coach Rodriguez uh, and his staff are out busy recruiting right now, but we hosted a number of recruits last weekend and they were all very impressed to see that this is a happening, it's a reality, it's not just a dream. And uh, not only is it going to impact our football program, but the great thing about it as well, I told our Student Athletic Advisory Committee this morning, which is made up of student athletes from all of our sports, it's going to have a great impact on them as well because one, there's going to be a cafeteria in the north end zone that will go uh, to uh, help feed all of our student athletes. And then on top of that, it's going to open up a bunch of space in McHale. So as we're looking to our next steps for uh, McHale Center and the renovation coming up, uh, we'll have the opportunity to have to acquire some space that football has been using and that's going to help uh, improve the footprint for all of our other student athletes. So it's uh, not only just a football impact that will have, but it will have an impact across the board for all 19 of our sports and 450 of our student athletes.